the Samsung black screen of death is the issue that causes the TV screen to go blank. It may seem unfixable at first, but as you watch our video, you will find out about some probable fixes that you should apply before taking the TV to an expert or buying a new one. There are a couple of solutions to fixing this problem. However, because it is difficult to diagnose the cause, you must apply the solution step by step from the easiest solution to the more complex ones. This way, you will be ruling out each cause, and if the TV works after any step, you will know what caused the black screen. Number 1. Soft reset your TV. Unplug your TV for 60 seconds and plug it back in. I mention this fix in many of my tutorials, it is so simple, yet effective. Number 2. Reboot your TV. Unplug your TV again and hold the power button on your remote for about 30 seconds. Then plug the TV back in. Number 3. Check the cables. Firstly, you need to check all the cables attached to the back of the TV. This will sort out the problem with any external sources, if the problem was caused by them. Remove all the cables and then attach them properly. Make sure you use high-quality HDMI cables. If the black screen still persists and you can still see the menu options after clicking the remote button, you must unplug all those external resources and power them on again. This will remove any temporary issues in those devices. Number 4. Select the right source. Make sure to select the correct input device by clicking the sources button on the remote. Select the source that you know is sending signals to the TV. Most of the time it should be set to a TV source. To do that, go to Settings, Source, TV. If the problem still exists, then move on to the next step. Also, make sure the TV is set to the same source as your external device. Number 5. Switch the HDMI input. This is a simple thing to experiment with, yet it can help to tackle our issue. If, for instance, your TV was using HDMI 1 input, try switching it to something else and see if it works. Number 6. Turn off the power and sleep settings. Press the menu button and switch off these settings from the system settings in the menu. To turn it off, go to settings, general, system manager, time, sleep timer, select off. Number 7. Turn off the energy saving mode and eco solution. To turn it off, go to settings, general, eco solution, auto power off, select off. Number 8. Change the batteries in your remote. This sounds simple but has worked great for many people I know. Number 9. Try a different wall outlet. Sometimes a particular outlet might be at fault, so try doing this step to eliminate this issue. Number 10. Update the TV's firmware. Go to the TV's menu options and select the settings, support, software, update, update now. Click on the software update option and follow the on-screen instructions to update the TV. Number 11. Factory reset your TV. If nothing seems to be working, let's try a more radical solution. To factory reset your TV, follow these steps. Press the menu button on your remote control. Go to Settings. Support. Self-diagnosis. Select Reset. Enter your PIN. Your TV will now start a reset process and once it is finished, the TV will reboot. Number 12. Talk to professionals. If you've tested all the options, the only thing left to do is to try contacting Samsung directly and see if they can offer any viable solution that will suit you. Number 13. Get a new TV. As you can see it's the saddest and the final recommendation we can possibly come up with. Assess the costs and the headache you will need to go through to make your current TV work. Is it worth it? Sometimes getting a new TV will ultimately be a better solution, especially in our day and age when you can get a nice reliable TV without going bankrupt. If you have any other questions regarding this topic, we have a detailed article on our blog. You can find the link to it under the video. Thank you so much for watching.